Glacier Bay has been dramatically affected by COVID-19, not so much by the disease as by the economic impacts. Our principal strength turned into one of our weaknesses. The closure of the cruise industry resulted in a 75% reduction in base funds for the park and an immense impact on the local economy. So we have, uh, have you know, in Revia Quijedo, there is no communities in, in, in the island, but we have some uh, economical impact, the regional impact in, in the peninsula of Baja California Sur, and 19 families depend of the, of the, of the work in, in Revia Quijedo. Meanwhile, we, uh, our biological monitoring has been interrupted. We have a lack of information of these uh, best lines that we have uh, developed for the last two years, three years. Now we have two rangers, finally, after five months in, in, in Socorro Island. And tourism sector being our number one income earner and accounting for more than 40% of the GDP, you know, we, we were really impacted as a country on a whole. Um, more than 60% of our foreign visitors go mainly offshore, mainly to circle and dive the barrier reef. And so um, as a result of the shutdown and the closing of the airport, you know, the sector has come to almost a complete halt and many have lost their jobs and their livelihoods. Fishing has become one of the only economic activities. We are allocating our, our budget and pushing it more into enforcement and, um, and um, having our co-managers um, uh, helping each other with the in enforcement, ensuring that people are not overfishing or, or doing anything illegal. The activity to which the majority of the inhabitants who live in Peninsula Valdez is vinculated to tourism, so we also have a local community here with the local community. It's affecting a lot. We are zero. zero. Eh, las principales fuentes de financiamiento de Península Valdés obviamente están vinculadas a la actividad turística, a la investigación, a los permisos de filmación, todas las actividades que, vuelvo a decir, como está restringido, eh, eh, implican cero ingreso para el área protegida, ¿verdad? En conceptos económicos. And so our, the contribution from the NGOs um, have been um, very important and priceless in sustaining the management of these areas. Um, most of them um, still have the technical and human and financial resources to maintain management right now. And so working hand in hand with them and partnering up with them to do some of the core management um, is essential. We also con todos los actores vinculados al área protegida, de repensar qué península queremos o cómo vamos a, a recibir a los visitantes que lleguen. Es decir, el trabajo con las comunidades locales, que son pescadores, son prestadores de servicios turísticos, se dio o se ha dado de manera muy cercana. Así estuvimos cerrados durante tres meses. Eh, empezamos a hacer un plan de reactivación de actividades. Este plan de reactivación de actividades se hizo junto con el sector pesquero, junto con el sector turístico, y el día de hoy la Reserva de la Biosfera Ciancán está abierta a las actividades turísticas, ya hay actividades turísticas, la actividad pesquera por ser una actividad prioritaria se ha mantenido a partir del mes de julio, que es cuando inicia la captura de langosta. Entonces nosotros nos adelantamos, pero es precisamente nos adelantamos porque tenemos un, un diálogo constante con las cooperativas y con los pescadores. El manejo de las reservas se da en base a este diálogo y a este acuerdo eh, consensado. It's been really interesting down here eh, to also see how these places have become uh, a, a place of refuge for people. Uh, we have been all locked up and unable to do the things that we typically do in our normal lives. And uh, we have seen down here that people are coming out, local people are coming out to use these places in a different way to find a little bit of mental health, to find a place of refuge, to find a place to get out uh, safely and experience that. Uh, out of doors while at the same time being able to 
exercise social distancing. And you know, that's, that's been an important contribution, I think, that uh, may be small and, and may be difficult to measure, it clearly more difficult than the economic impact or loss, right? But I think it's one that is maybe a critical that we don't lose sight of in celebrating as part of the whole package of, uh, of things that these places offer, uh, not only internationally, but to the communities that benefit from having them in place. I had a little online conference just using Zoom, and we actually got over, well, nearly 200 participants in that. So people were desperate to know about St Kilda. They loved the place and they wanted to engage with it. If you can find that community that loves your site, they, I think they really want to support us and they recognise that these are difficult times. And I think around the globe, we've all realised the importance of, of the natural sites and being outside in nature and how much that we need that for our health. Um, so, so I think it's, it's out there. We just need to find ways to tap into it. These, these special sites belong to the people, no? It's yours, or we, we, we saw the people, this is yours, they carry, take care of it, uh, use, use it responsibly, etc., etc. Uh, a kind of message that we can link around the world, giving, giving hope to the uh, economic activities that depends from the marine natural protected areas.